Hey guys, it's Landon with RH. It's been a while since I did a training video, so I had a few minutes and wanted to teach a couple of my people a little little Kogo boundary survey trick. <clears throat> so I thought I'd share that, record that, and share that with everybody. I'm in Bricks CAD. <clears throat> this is a, a little job we're working on. It's not little. <laughs> it's a big job. I'm working with the title company and the land attorney on this transaction to clean up some some old easements so those some of those need to get abandoned or or relocate relocated <clears throat> and so that the surveyor that came in and before us and did the alta survey did not do a good job and there was an old irrigation easement it's from the 1920s 30 foot wide and he said it, he said in his on his alta survey that the easement could not be mapped and it absolutely can be mapped um, it just took a little bit of effort that he wasn't willing to make. And so it, it is a little bit tricky, uh, but any licensed surveyor should be able to figure this out. So I, I just wanted to show my drafters how they can place uh, an easement like this. So uh, this is our subject parcel here. This is the old Michigan Avenue right away right here. And this is our irrigation easement. This point right here is on the old railroad right away. Uh, it's actually current railroad right away. And this point right here is on the easterly right-of-way line of Michigan Avenue. But we don't really get any other good indications as to where this where this goes. But you'll notice that the railroad right-of-way and Michigan Avenue are not parallel. What that means is we can place this. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. We're going to do that by sliding this easement along two lines. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this center line and I'm going to put it on Michigan, this easterly right-of-way line of Michigan Avenue. So just use my near snap there. It doesn't matter where on this line we put it. And what we, we basically want to do, guys, is we want to take this easement now, this center line, and we want to slide it down this right-of-way line of Michigan Avenue until this point right here hits the railroad right-of-way. And because these lines are not parallel, that's only going to happen in one, one spot on the surface of the earth. So how do you do that in CAD? We're going to copy this line. So I just made a copy of that right-of-way line of Michigan Avenue. That's what we want to slide along. And I'm going to put it there at the end of our other end of our easement, the east end. And now what I can do is I can move this easement along this line until it intersects with the railroad right-of-way. So what, what we basically just did there is we used the move command, but we slid it along this right-of-way line until it hit the railroad right-of-way. Now, I know I got pretty close. This, I believe, is surveyed line work in our drawing here. And this is supposed to run along a property line if you read the deed. So there's that property line. So how close did we get this easement from 1926? Eh, let's see. Looks to me like we got it within two feet. Now, here's why this is so important. There's a 30-foot easement here running through a big chunk of, the, of, of this interior of this industrial parcel. And the other surveyor didn't show that on his Alta because he said this couldn't be mapped. So that was a pretty big deal. And it could be mapped. So that took us uh, about three minutes. So if you count the time I spent with the deed, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes total to get that placed. So that other surveyor didn't make very much of an effort, did he? Um, anyways, I wanted to, to show you guys that trick. That's how you can, uh, you know... I didn't have a, a good indication of where this easement was north-south, but because I had these two, two right-of-way lines established and I knew these connected to each of those right-of-way lines, we were able to kind of slide it along the right-of-way lines until it, till it snapped into place there. It only, it only fits in one spot because those right-of-way lines are not parallel. So that's a, that's a handy trick for you guys. So I hope, I hope somebody at some point watches this on YouTube and it, and it helps them solve a problem like this. That would be awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.